Okay, so here we're gonna have a little extra help video for number 23 on the all practice. And there's a sign being held up by two ropes and it's in equilibrium, so the sign is not moving. So because it's in equilibrium, we know the sign and the system is not accelerating, right? The forces are gonna cancel out. So let's start by looking in the X direction. And in case you didn't know, we're trying to solve for the value of these two tensions. So in the X direction, there's no acceleration. So the forces in the X direction must sum to zero. Uh, another way to say that, more conceptually, is that the forces pulling left are gonna equal the forces pulling right. So for left and right, we have the X component of this tension here going left and the X component of tension two going right. So they're gonna be equal. So T1X equals T2X. And this is because the um, sign is not accelerating left or right. So I just wrote the angles in here so we didn't have to get confused over using phi or phi. So the X component of T1 it's going to be T1 cosine 60 degrees. And it, this angle is given to you. It tells you that. And that equals T2 cosine 30 degrees. So if this was the only equation I had, I wouldn't be able to solve for the tension because there's one, two unknowns and only one equation. So knowing this, we're going to need at least one more equation to find the answer. So let's look in the Y direction. Same scenario, the uh, sign is not accelerating up or down, it's in equilibrium, so the forces going up are gonna balance the forces going down. So going up, we have these two ropes pulling the sign up. We have the Y component of T2 pulling up, and we have the Y component of T1 pulling up. So T1Y plus T2Y, and then what's pulling down, what's going up is going to equal what's pulling down. The weight of the sign is pulling down, and that's given to us as 100 newtons. So I can just write 100 newtons in here. So now we have two equations and two unknowns. So we can use substitution to solve for our tensions. So I'm going to start up here with the um, x equations. I'm going to solve for either one of the tensions. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to solve for T1 for now. So T1, I'm dividing cosine 60 by both, on both sides. T1 equals T2 cosine 30 divided by cosine 60. I can plug this in my calculator. Cosine 30 divided by cosine 60 equals 1.73. So T1 equals 1.73 T2. Now that I have this, T1 equals 1.73 T2. I can plug this in over here. First, let me write another line here, actually. So since this is the Y component, this is going to be T1 sine of the angle. And this is going to be T2 sine of its angle. Okay. So now I'm going to plug in T1 into T1. So I'm taking this and plugging it in here. So 1.73 T2 sine of 60 plus T2 sine of 30 equals 100. Now I can figure out what the sine values are. So 1.73 times sine 60 equals 1.498, so this becomes 1.498 T2. And then sine of 30 is 0.5, so this becomes 0.5 T2. I can add these T2s together, so I'm gonna do that with my calculator now. And I get 1.998 T2 equals 100. Divide both sides by 1.998, and I have T2 equals 50 newtons. Now that I know T2 equals 50 newtons, I need to find what T1 is. So I can plug this in into any equation earlier, and I'm just going to pick an easy one. 
So let's see. If I plug, T this one looks nice and easy to me, doesn't it? So I'll take this T2 and plug it in here. So T1 equals 1.73 times T2, which we just said is 50. So that means T1 equals, let's type it in my calculator, equals 86.58 Newtons. Let's check the sheet and yep. So these are correct, we are good to go. So just to recap, you do some of the forces in the X and this is uh, equilibrium, so the acceleration is zero. So what's going left is gonna equal what's going right. Same thing for up and down. What's going up is going to equal what's going down. Now you have two equations with two unknowns. You can start from anywhere. Just solve for one of the unknowns and plug it into the other equation. That's the substitution method. Get your answer, plug it back in, and you're good to go.